Hey guys, today we're taking a look at another backpack. This one is by a company called Tamrac, and the model is the Jetty 7. And this is actually a sling backpack. I really like these sling packs because they're designed to give you quick and easy access to your gear. So they're really more uh, walkabout style packs, especially this one because it's kind of compact not uh, really large, but you can actually fit a good bit of gear inside as we soon shall see. On the back, you will see there is one strap. Now this is typical of the sling style backpacks. And I, in a minute, I will show you why there's only one strap. And one nice little feature at the bottom of the strap, there is a tie that you can slide up and down. So once you have the strap adjusted, to suit your preferences, you can use this little thing to tie down the loose strap. And the exterior of the pack is really simple. No pockets. Uh, there's a zipper at the top and the zippers on this pack for some reason are weather sealed. If you can see that, the zipper is actually not visible. That's a pretty nice feature actually. They don't really make any claims about the weather sealing of the pack itself but I guess you can travel with confidence that your zippers will be well protected. Uh, on the outside of the pack, there is one zippered pocket so you can get quick access to small items like your phone or cards or lens wipes or maybe even a battery or whatever you want to put in there, things of that nature. But of course, these things are fairly exposed uh, to the outside and this outer flap is not padded but if we open up the main compartment of the bag you'll see how much gear you can actually fit in here in the top you will find a mesh pocket and again this is a true camera bag designed by a camera bag company I like these kind of mesh pockets because you can get a feel for what's actually inside the pocket this is probably where I would be putting my batteries and so forth although at the moment I've got like lens cap, I've got uh, a loose filter in there, shame on me, but that's your little mesh pocket at the top. And then in the main cavity of the bag, towards uh, the interior, there is a separate compartment that is perfectly sized for a full size tablet, iPad in my case. And now the main cavity of the bag, it's actually deeper than you think. Uh, Tamarack says you can fit, I think, a 7-inch long lens in here and a full-size DSLR. This is a D7100, and at the moment I just have uh, the 35mm f1.8 lens on there. But there's plenty of room for this thing, and wait, that's not all. Uh, to the right, I have uh, another Nikon lens. To the left, I have another Nikon lens. And frankly, I've probably got room for another lens if I wanted. Inside the pack, there are a couple of these Velcro attachable dividers. Of course, these are easily removed. If you decided that uh, you wanted to clear out some space in your bag, uh, you could easily do so. Again, it's actually rather cavernous, and it's designed so that if you have a larger zoom lens, you could easily fit it in the pack, or you could fit two, three, maybe even four lenses in here. It's a very simple design. I mean, there's not much else going on in here, just a couple of, of these partitions and the mesh bag. But I wanna show you how the sling pack works because this is really the key. Uh, when you buy one of these bags, you're buying it for that sling functionality. Now, the hardest part of using these bags is figuring out how to put them on. And <laughs> we'll see if I get it right. I think you put it on like so. All right, so here I am with the pack on my body, and you're gonna see why you buy a sling pack, because you can wear it just like a normal backpack as you're going from point A to point B. You see something you wanna photograph, you just swing it around, and you have quick access to all of your gear. Again, uh, that's a sling bag design, and I really like these sling bags. I think from a walkabout perspective, this is a good way to go because you can always have quick access to your gear. I think this is the type of bag that would be really useful if you're traveling overseas. You want to keep some of your stuff 
uh, with you and you want to have it maybe even in front of you so that you're not exposed to pickpockets and thieves in certain cities in Europe. Yes, I'm talking about you, Barcelona. You know, Tamarack makes camera bags that look like camera bags, frankly, but they are fairly discreet. This is not something that really calls a lot of attention to itself. It's not flashy by any means, and that certainly can be an advantage when you're traveling. The zippers are Mm, a little bit on the thin side. They do have these nice ties at the end so you can grab on with a little tie, zip things open. Overall, a pretty good construction. It's lightweight. It's made of polyester. This is definitely not an heirloom quality bag. You won't be passing this on to your grandchildren. Uh, the polyester feels a little bit thin. The padding is nothing terribly special. I don't think this bag is going to outlast any of us, but for the money, it's not a bad purchase. These things are available pretty inexpensively. I think they're less than 50 bucks now. So that's the Tamrac Jetty 7. Pretty good little sling bag. You can fit a lot of stuff in here and you get quick access to your gear which is why I like these sling bags. If you want to check out more reviews of this exact bag, I will put a link in the YouTube description for this video. And I'll also put a link to some other Tamrac bags because Tamrac makes a huge variety of camera bags. So that's it guys. As always, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and lolo ho. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.